Hi, I'm Chris Rabb with Free Speech TV here in Washington, D.C. at the Take Back the American Dream conference. I'm excited about our next guest. We have Christine Newman Ortiz. Welcome. Thank you so much. It's my honor to be here. And tell me about your organization. Voces de la Frontera is a low-wage and immigrant worker center. Uh, we have individual membership and we're uh, based in three cities and we have uh, youth chapters called Youth Empowered in the Struggle. Okay. Now what does low-wage mean to your organization? How are we defining that generally? What does that mean? Uh, well, it's people who are basically part of the working poor. Uh, Milwaukee is the fourth poorest city in the nation and uh, most of our adult members are uh, Latino, and uh, many are immigrant. Uh, and uh, yeah, they're in many, you know, really struggling to uh, they work really, really hard for very, very little. Um, struggling basically with you know underemployment, uh, and as everyone else, certainly uh, employment as well. And uh, and so it's really something that uh, I'm acutely aware of, of in terms of the the needs that uh, that we have to increase um, wages and and increase better job opportunities. So what does the landscape of opportunity look like for the people you serve, for you know, uh, our audience that reaches into 30 million households who are not aware of these struggles or not aware of what's going on in Milwaukee or what have you? Now, what do you want them to know about kind of the look and feel of, of what's going on? I think one thing that uh, folks are less aware of uh, is what's how the immigrant community is being impacted by uh, our current enforcement policies. Uh, we do not have um, like big raids that are, are taking place in, um, in our communities in terms of like big visible workplace site raids. Uh, or if they do occur in the mainstream media, they're characterized as, oh, we're going after all these gangbangers. So it's always like, well, well, you know, who wants gangbangers, you know, in their neighborhood? Um, but the reality is, uh, is that a majority of people getting deported are uh, low-income families who have no criminal record. And it's really a very covert way of doing things that has resulted, 70% of people getting, you know, getting deported had no criminal record. And so we're seeing it's really kind of on an individual basis um, at people's homes, in limited cases, um, you know, at their workplace. But it's, it's, it's of a significant scale. And that's happened through uh, also kind of driving, criminalizing the immigrant community, as they have done with Latino and African American uh, U.S. citizens in the 1980s, and really channeling them into the county jails where you have programs that are basically then handing them off to immigration. And so it really is part of a a broader agenda in terms of a corporate agenda to um, profit from so the criminal. Yeah, tell me uh, really quickly about the corporatization of criminalization, as it were. Well, uh, you know, it's something that I've become educated on because we've seen it in, in the time that I've, I've worked with Voces de la Frontera, how, um, you know, really the uh, Corrections Corporation of America, uh, with the largest for-profit industry as well as others, how this growth in the uh, detention system is all happening under um, private corporations who are then turning around and drafting, literally drafting um, Arizona. They, they drafted the Arizona cop, you know. To help their own. Yeah, to really criminalize immigrants and drive them into the, the, the jails where they will make money from that. So it's really a twin agenda of privatization and criminalization of low-income people of color. And it's something that they've lobbied for um, and are, are heavily invested in. And it's something that uh, I think it's very uh, dangerous because it's something that impacts all of us. Obviously, in terms of a more, you know, what kind of society are we? But also, I mean, the kind of jobs that are being created because you're really talking about a lot of those private prisons are essentially putting people to work at... You know, and for if you're if you are a foreign um, a prisoner, you get paid a dollar a day. So I mean, you're talking about a, a new type of modern day slavery, um, where people uh, don't you know are basically being super exploited, and that's what then a, an average worker is competing against. So it's something about um, economic and social justice. So tell me, where can people go to find out more about what you're doing, what your organization is about, or any general information around the subject matter? The best place is our website. Uh, it is at www.vdlf, which stands for Voces de la Frontera, .org. Thank you very much. I wish you much success. Well, thank you for the great work here. Excellent. With Free Speech TV, I'm Chris Rabb.